Hey guys, welcome back to Burner Brothers YouTube channel. We are here at the Antique Center. We got a couple things we're getting done today. Um, right now, we got our manager, Janet, is like, she's took control in the highlights. And she said, all this out. She said, get out of my way. I'm setting up for Christmas. So it's going to be Christmas time at the heart this weekend. Jacob, she's got the tree she, set yeah, up. Started. Back started. Back over, back over here, somewhere right there, right there, right there. See the Christmas tree back there? She's got that started and- uh, She's got some reindeer up here. Rain, reindeer, let's show them the reindeer up top. Show them what we got, Josh. I believe in Santa Claus. And we got the sleigh and There's the man the sleigh. himself. There's the man. And so, uh, yeah, we're, we're redoing some stuff today. And then uh, Lucas and I have to run the Plain City. We're gonna go to house call. So uh, yeah, another day at the Burner Brothers. Let's go. Okay, so we are almost here. Uh, we're just the last half mile away or so. We, so this situation that we're getting into here is um, the, the lady we're getting ready to see, her grandmother uh, used to buy and sell a lot of antiques with. Uh, this has been over the past 25 years. She's bought a lot from us, have a lot of respect for her. And then um, her mother, also the same. We've known them you know, pretty much my entire life because in, in the antiques world, you get to know, know everyone you're dealing with and become friends. And, and so this is the granddaughter now. And uh, they're they are moving and they're like look we got to get some stuff out of the house uh can you come over and, and just take what we have just buy it from us um and uh you know we talked about the market just not being that well with the furniture they're selling so some amish furniture it's going to be a little bit harder for us to move um in today's world because it's all like the oak and, and maples and stuff so and then they had some uh, pea buckley moss prints and some stife bears and some different stife animals the stife will be good for us um, so we're, we're getting ready to walk in, and I'm not sure exactly what we're getting into, but uh, it'll be pretty interesting. Uh, any thoughts, Luke? Oh, I hope it's some cool stuff. Hope it's some cool stuff. Me too. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what we got. Okay, so we looked at a couple things here, and uh, the Splendor, here's a little movie poster uh, framed. Natalie Wood and Warren Beatty, Warner Brothers poster. So that's the first item we're looking at. And we got this guy. He's just a fun, fun pup. I love it. What's his name? Rick. 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 Well, Rick. That's like a normal name. I, I like it. Rick. Hi, Rick. How are you? Hi. Rick's loving it. That's awesome. Rick looks like a good puppy. All right. Well, let's see what we got in here. Oh. We're gonna dig through some stuff in here as well. Okay. So what we have here, we have a, this is sad. We have a lamp that did not make it. Um, it's got a big, big piece out of it, but the base is good, so we're going to try and do something with the base. Uh, we have some scythe, and then interesting is the old, the old glassware that's just not really marketable anymore. Um, Longaberger baskets. We have a P. Buckley Moss collection. And the fun thing that we have though is is this group right here of the scythe. Um, really fun group of scythe, and that that's kind of where we're we're focusing in on is the, this group right here. Uh, let me just show you a couple things. So the teddy bears and the, the animals, my wife and I used to buy a lot of these in Germany when we would go over there. Uh, matter of fact, my daughter, I have this exact bear that I bought for my daughter in a, at the Stife factory years ago when we were buying antiques over there. So we got this guy here, uh, the Pea Buckley Moss Prince, and then we have this Amish Oak um, kitchen cabinet. It is not an item we normally would, would want, but we're gonna, we're gonna work it out here. And then we have the table and chairs as well, a little oak table. Uh, it's not really old, probably made in the 80s, um, somewhere in there. Uh, and then there is also an S roll top desk, and then a couple pictures. So that is our load for the day, and we'll we'll uh, get loading here and uh, get on back down the road. So there's a little jardinier and pedestal in here, art pottery, probably Roseville or, or Weller. Um, but it's got this one has a chip chip on the back side right here. Um, so I mean, it's not going to bring a lot. These used to bring really a lot of money, but. Today they just they're just not what they used to be, and it's got a little a small small crack in the bottom of that one. But overall, decent shape on the pedestal. Uh, so they don't match, but they they were together. So Lucas is getting the truck arranged. We're loading the cabinet top in right now, and uh, getting that pushed up in there. Sure. Something really interesting they've done is they've got all the uh, the on the back of the Pea Buckley Moss they have identified everything on it with certificates and uh, all the authenticity paperwork with them so lucas is still loading here this this guy <laughs> looks a lot like lucas though i don't know i was just comparing what do you think yeah. here catch <laughs> keep putting the, the stice up there um i like i like this one like i said my daughter i got her that one one year for christmas so that's pretty cool Take that one up there. There's Luke with the stife going in. Put it in my jigsaw. In the jigsaw. Lucas is learning how to pack right now. So I've done this a thousand times and he's, he's learning how to do it. 
Um, and then I'm gonna go through the rest of the stipe as he's loading that up. We'll pull him out and let you see. So here's this guy here. He's fun. He's like a mohair bear. I like the turtle. Uh, the turtle's really cute. Um, we can get someone to, that would like him. And then there's just different animals, different bears. Uh, most of them still have all their tags on them. The rabbit. This guy here's fun. He's a mohair. Uh, nice with the, with the old tag on it still. The radio flyer. There, there's a baseball player that's really interesting as well. He's still in his original box. I think we just loaded him though. Yeah, he's sitting up there on the... On the shelf, he's a baseball player in the original box stipe. So we have some stipe coming up in the hood auction soon. This is actually a fun longer burger. It's an Ohio State basket, and this is interesting. Husband and wife combo. She's Ohio State and he's Wisconsin, but uh, I like the Ohio State stuff better. <laughs> okay, so this is the load that we are actually landing on. We're taking the table, the chairs, the cabinet, the stipe, the P. Buckley Moss, um, and we are not going to take the pup, the puppy gets to stay here, and we're not gonna take this desk either. It's just, it's a it's a Chinese made desk, and after we started getting it apart, it's like it's just not gonna be worth us hauling it out of here. So they're gonna actually donate this. This is gonna be fun, they can donate it. And uh, it'll go to, it's not a Goodwill, but another company they mentioned, I'm not sure who it was. But anyways, we're leaving the desk, and that is it for the load. So you never know when you're gonna get into on a house call, and, and today we, we, you know, we got probably about 20, 20, 25 pieces of stife. A nice little art pottery, jardinier pedestal, and uh, a pedestal, and then some miscellaneous P. Buckley Moss prints, a couple pieces that we can sell at the auction. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get this stuff back to the antique center, and uh, we'll we'll take in there the table and chairs. It's not real old, but I, I we'll we'll put it in the back of building six and uh, try and sell it. And the same with the cabinet, and then the smalls we'll put it in auction. So something interesting is uh, we're we're you ready to take off here, and uh, Lucas had an interesting thing happen. We 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 couldn't take the desk. Talk about the desk for a second. Well, it was Chinese. We thought it was Amish in the pictures, and so we said we would take it. But it turned out it was Chinese made, and it was all particle board. And, yeah, and we started to move it. It was desk. starting to come apart. It came apart when we picked it up, and so we just <laughs> took it out to the garage and. Hopefully they'll donate it. Yeah, and they said they could get someone to donate it. And he's put back together, but they're going to get it donated, and we're not going to we're not going to take it. It just wasn't for us. But uh, we had already paid, and she and she goes, well, listen, you guys did all this, and then she goes, just take this back here, Lucas, uh, since you did all that work for me. And um, look, look what Lucas has here. This is kind of interesting. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like is that sapphires. And diamonds? Uh, all gemstones, little sapphires and diamonds that fell out of one of her rings. She said, well, here, you guys uh, take this, Lucas, and sell it at the auction and see what you can get. And uh, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. It was charm or something, but he just keeps getting stuff given to him. So uh, we got some diamonds and sapphires. We'll put up at auction here and see what happens with those. That's a lot better than a desk. We can ship the diamonds. Yeah, no kidding. You know, the desk, it was a hard thing for the us. The heavy. And we really didn't want the desk. I mean, it wasn't something we could use, but... Jewelry is always something we can use. We like lots of jewelry. It's uh, jewelry's fun. So we'll have some diamonds coming up. So we just got back to the antique center. Really cool. They got the Christmas tree up. So Janet's been working hard. She's got the tree up here. Um, she's got some really interesting decorations. Little Boyd's Bears down here. The silver tree. Uh, just fun. It's starting to come together here. We're going to have this all, all done by this weekend though. So uh, in the back over there behind me, you can see the, the this area back over in, eh, where are we at? Right over here, the highlights area. They're just now starting to get some stuff put together. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to work on it and get it finished. But when I was gone, the funniest thing happened. Josh says, look what I blew up in our office. So he was in the office and we had this little Mickey that we got in the box. Look at the size of this. He blew that up while we were in the when he was in the office and sent me a photo. So I'm gonna grab that photo and show you what the office looked like. That's like a, a 12 foot Mickey Mouse. Um, it's starting to look like Christmas around here for sure. We were getting ready to go back and unload the furniture, but I thought, let me go check the salt bins real quick. This is a really nice Balik uh, covered covered pot here, covered terrain. It's a smaller one, but priced at $45. That one's sold. And here's another piece of Balik. That's, pro that's a little, maybe a toothpick or a little, little vase of some sort. Priced at $10. Uh, that one is sold. And here is a, it looks like a Faustoria candelabra, probably a Faustoria. It's priced at $69. See what they say it's called they just have candle holder with prisms anyways that one's priced at 69 dollars in the sold bin it's a good buy on a belief lamp for 60 dollars it's, it's a pretty good sized lamp uh it sold 60 dollars we have some mickey mouse glasses at six dollars each that are sold today and right behind that a little ice bucket priced at seven dollars on the ice bucket back here we have some comic books down here we have some bubble glass at seven dollars and fifty cents uh, that's fun. All the bubble, bubble blue. 
And then a set here, a set of 12 stems priced at $12. Those are a good buy. <laughs> so we're selling <laughs> some other items over here in this old bin. This one here is a metal castle salt and pepper set for $18.50. And then the snake in the back, looks like chalkware. Um, $12 priced on the snake in the back. And then some vintage, a vintage jacket here. Kind of, a, what is that? That is Lucky Brand, uh, 1990 approximately. And this one here is priced at $34. That one is sold on the Lucky Lucky Brand. What we got going up? Is another sold piece? No, it's coming back. It's coming back. We just don't know where it gets. Well, the tag's on the inside. There's two tags. Well, nope, this one's the fake one. <laughs> so you got to figure it out? It's 5114. 5114. <laughs> because I don't think that... It was your tag for $15. Uh, that's not my tag. I don't know. <laughs> Let's send it back where it goes. All right, Luke, we got to unload that truck. Let's get rolling. The good news, Luke, is it's all still there and uh, up in the truck. Nothing fell over. Good. Except my baseball guy. Uh, baseball stife guy. You didn't put him up high enough. I guess not. Well, let's get it unloaded. All right. So we're coming in with the table and chairs here. Start getting it put away. Set it up. Lucas wants to get it priced out tonight. Okay, Luke, we got it done. We got it in the booth. Uh, what do you think? I mean, it's a nice set. It's Amish built, solid oak table and chairs. It's got a claw feet on it. There's six chairs. And you know, these were really popular in like the 90s, um, late 90s, early 2000s, in that whole range. I used to, I remember selling a lot of these for a lot of money. You know, we'd get 85 to 125 a chair. They're solid chairs, Amish built. Um, but what do you think? I don't know. What, what should we put on this one today? Well, I think four and a half would be a fair. Like, so four fifty for the whole thing, right? The yeah. table and six? Okay. okay. So we're going to price out the table and six at $4.50. Uh, it's got claw feet, big leaf on it. And what, okay, what about this Amish, solid oak Amish sideboard here? Uh, came out of the same kitchen. Well, what? I don't think people want this near as much as they would want a nice chairs or tables. Okay. I think a well, little less, probably three and a half so put three and a half on this one okay so if you want to buy these you can come out to the antique center they're gonna be back here in building six in the corner um this is a deal lucas and i are uh, we bought together we're gonna to split it so uh we'll see what happens we're gonna put what'd you say 350 on this one and then and then 450 on the table and chairs and that's a great buy for a table and chairs it should go fast okay anything else on this call luke well it was fun what we're going to do now, we got to go unload the rest down at the auction. Go unload and, the uh, rest at the auction. When we do that and then show our viewers all the different stipes that we actually got. We didn't get a chance to do that in the house. Yeah. We kind of had to rebox it all. But let's uh, let's go show the viewers what we got there, okay? Sounds good. So we got back and we got unloaded. And this, this group right here is what we actually got out of the estate. Plus the table and chairs. So uh, it's an interesting group. There's a, a, a nice grouping of stife. And the stife is what was what we why we were so interested. Um, you know, obviously, uh, stife does... So that's pretty good at auction. Um, not probably not what it used to do. Uh, we used to buy a lot of it in Germany and bring it back. Uh, uh, we've been to the factory before, a really cool place. And like I said earlier, my daughter's got that bear there I bought from the factory from her, or for her for Christmas one year. And then we got the oil lamp down there, the broken shade, uh, it, was just, it was just shattered. We had to get rid of it. This is kind of a fun, this is a 95 um, baseball replica uh, of an, an old Stife, Stife uh, baseball player would be. Then the, the, I believe that's Weller, probably Weller, Jardinier, and Pedestal. I didn't see any signatures on it anywhere, but it does have a small crack in the base and a little chip in the top, but that should still sell okay. And then all of the Pea Buckley Mosses, um, and there's quite a few Pea Buckley Moss, maybe a dozen or so total, and then you got the Wizard of Oz, um, uh, you know, um, print over here. And then we have the four Longaberger baskets uh, up here on the top. Um, so yeah, this is our, our group from today, Luke. Uh, what do you think? Any other thoughts about the stuff that we bought today? It's a good looking group. It's a good looking group. And then plus you got your diamonds. Yep. They're um, on the desk. The diamonds are on the desk and there. Let mom, mom catalog those out for you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, this is a, a group that Lucas and I are going to partner up on and uh, we have the table and chairs and then we have the oak, uh, piece we left at the antique center. Yeah, two piece cupboard. Two piece cupboard. So, um, you know, we're expecting maybe the group will bring between a thousand and fifteen hundred total or, you know, with everything. So, uh, we'll see where we get to and, uh, we'll go from there. Lucas and I were talking and we decided to go ahead and go to Mammals and drop off this box of Dickens and see what, uh, what she would be willing to pay for it. So, um, we got a surprise visit here. We're dropping this off for Mammal. We're gonna see what she thinks. So we are after hours. We're here at Mammal's house, and uh, this is what Lucas and I bought earlier today, Mammal. We want you to see this. We we bought this, and Lucas and I both thought, well, this is for Mammal. 
So we got Dickens Villages in here. Set them down, Luke. Show me on what you got. And uh, what well, we want to know is what could you give us for this box full of Dickens Dickens Villages here? And uh, what do you think a fair price for you would be? Let's let's sell these to Mamma right now. A couple in the original box. Be careful opening that up, Luke. There it is. It's on the side. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It's got the lights on it. Um, so you got one, two, then three, four. Nah, they're all still good. Five, six, and seven. That's styrofoam. So we got seven pieces total, Liam. All this one here is a curiosity shop. So, um, I mean, we know it's not a lot of money, and that you got to do really well with these. But we picked these up only because we knew that you would want to buy them. Uh, you don't like the Dickens? Oh, you got shut out, Luke. Man, I don't want them. No, I couldn't give you any more than probably fifteen dollars. Luke, you want to sell them for fifteen dollars and get rid of them? You want them? Kinley wanted a village and she hadn't had one, so I says, I've got a village, I'll just give you all my village. And so Aww. I gave her three boxes of these things. Okay. Uh, well, we, we knew that this was the place to go to with Dickens yes, Village, but uh, but now they're gone. She gave them to her grand her granddaughter, so yes. uh, we're, we can't sell me more any more Dickens Village. Yeah. Well, her, her sister, Lane, got her other grandmother's village. Oh. So, um, I said, well, if you want mine, you can have mine. So do you want to start a, n a new village collection for another granddaughter here, or is this, this out of out of the picture? I would give you 15 for them. That's all I could do. Well, we'll take 15. We, <laughs> we, we picked these up only because we thought you would want them, but if you don't want them, we'll auction them off. Okay, I'll take them for 15. All right, so they're sold, are they sold now or not, Luke? Do you, I don't know. I, you don't know whether to trust that she really wants them. Do you, oh? I'll put them in my booth. Are you okay with buying them at 15 now? Yeah. We I'll don't just, care. I'll, I'll we, just I, put them in my booth. What, when, what, when I, what did I tell you at the house what me and Ma would pay for those? I think two bucks a piece or something. I said, Mamma will probably give you two dollars each for those. That's what she buys them for at yard sales. So, <laughs> yeah. so we uh, we figured that you would give two bucks each for them, and if that's if that was kind of the range, and there's what like seven. So fifteen dollars is about what we thought you would pay. Yeah, you're about right on. <laughs> so you, do you want them then, or? Yes, I'll take them. All right, they are sold. So look, we don't have to take those back home, <laughs> and we are now done. Oh, oh look at there. <laughs> Papa done paid for them. He pulled fifteen out of his wallet. He thought that's a really good buy. I'll buy them if she's not. <laughs> That's fun. All right, ma'am. Well, sorry to invade you. We were just finishing up. We went on a house call over in Plain City, and we bought a Stife collection and a few Longenberger baskets, and they had this Dickens Village there, and uh, we told them, like, we'd sell those to you for a couple, three dollars each, because you're the only person we sell them to. If you didn't buy them, we'd, we'd just throw them up at an auction as a lot and get rid of them, but... Uh, we knew you paid two or three dollars each for them, and thought we thought, well, let's get this box for Mammal. Okay, well, we'll you'll see them in the heart. <laughs> All right, so they'll be out at the heart, priced out soon. Yeah, we're here with Mom, and you know we love Mom. Oh, uh, love we we surprised her tonight, so I hope she's not too upset with us for the no, surprise. I'm but not upset. we uh, we just wanted to get to finish out the video and and uh, get get rid of what we bought today. See how quick we can get it sold to you. And Lucas and I are partners on this whole deal we bought, and yes. we thought, well, I told him when we picked him up. This is what you do. You keep Mamaw supplied. You sell her oh, yes. these for a couple bucks each. I would like to buy anything you guys. Well, do. okay, you got more. All right. Well, if you get any, if you need more, we'll keep trying to pick them up when we go on these calls for okay, you. Okay. So. Thank you. All right, guys. If you enjoyed watching that, don't forget to subscribe and like our YouTube channels at the Heart of Ohio as well. Art Heart at Heart of Ohio Antiques. Uh, thank you. Blessings. Have a great night.